Hi, I'm Ian Lusick and I'm in Chem 110 Lab Section 7. This experiment is the determination of citric acid concentration in lemon juice. So first off, the balanced chemical equation of the, of the neutralization reaction that took place is as follows. Aqueous citric acid, so that is C3H5O, COOH3, and that's aqueous reacts with three sodium hydroxide, also aqueous. And this yields, well, the neutralization reaction takes place, obviously, and the products that, yield, that are yielded from this reaction are sodium citrate, and a C3H5COO3, and also, well, that's aqueous, and also three H2O, and obviously that is liquid. So uh, next I'm gonna show a sample stoichiometric calculation of how we determined the concentration of lemon juice, or of citric acid in the lemon juice. So concentration is the same thing as malaria. So we're gonna go with that. We're gonna go with concentration equals molarity. Now, molarity equals moles of solute over liters of solvent. So our liters of solvent, well, we have it in milliliters. We have 17.6 milliliters of, sol of solvent. So to convert that to liters, we're gonna move the decimal places, the decimal three places to the left to give us a answer of 0 0.0176 liters of solvent, which is sodium hydroxide. Them parentheses out of the way. So the next thing we're going to do is convert the moles of solute into moles of citric acid. So we're going to go from um, moles of sodium hydroxide to moles of citric acid by using this uh, lead, this liters amount here. So we're going to start out with 0 0.0176 liters of sodium hydroxide. And then next, we're going to convert that into moles of sodium hydroxide. So in every one liter of sodium hydroxide, there's 0 0.0813 moles of sodium hydroxide. So now we have, we're left, so the moles of, or liters of sodium hydroxide will cancel. We're left in moles of sodium hydroxide. So we need to cancel that by doing the, the ratio, the three to one ratio for every three moles of NaOH, there's one mole of citric acid. Now the number you get from this, which is gonna be the moles of citric acid is going to be 4.76 e to the negative fourth, again, moles of citric acid. So now, to, in order to determine molarity, we're going to go back up to our previous equation. Molarity equals moles of solute over liters of solvent. So now that we have the moles of the solute and the liters of the solvent, we're just going to go ahead and set this up and then divide it out. So molarity of citric acid equals 4.76 e to the negative fourth moles citric. We'll do that for short and then 0 0.0176 liters of sodium hydroxide. So the answer for this is 0 0.0270 molar. So again, now this is the sample stoichiometric calculation to determine the molarity of the citric acid in the lemon juice. There we are. Um, so now the next thing, oh, the average, the average of the three uh, trials was actually this number because our liters that we started with was the same number for all three trials. We were very precise. So we got the, our average was what we got for our first, second, and third, 0 0.0270 molar. Uh, so the, the pH, the average pH before we did the titration of the lemon juice was 2.88 on the pH scale. Now the pH, the average pH after we completed the titration was 9.56 on the pH scale. Now, as you can see, 2.88 is a very low acid, well, a very acidic acid, and 9.56 is a fairly highly basic base. 
so we see an uh, increase of almost 7 on the pH scale. The way that we determine mathematically pH is pH equals the negative log of the concentration of hydrogen ions in the solution. So whatever the uh, concentration of hydrogen ions is goes in this box. And if the number is higher, you'll have a higher number um, over here being your pH. So therefore, the higher concentration that you have of hydrogen ions, the higher the pH you have, which will lead it to become more basic. Again, I used the lab manual that we were provided in class as a source for the procedure for this. And thank you, and I hope you enjoyed.